for a person who doesn't know what kerala architecture is he will not see it as kerala architecture it's a very contemporary house using elements from kerala architecture so the house as a whole is made for the family when the client is satisfied a housing project can be said to be successful hi my name is benny kuriyakos i'm going to take you around this house for walk throughs chapters drawings pdfs etc please visit buildofi.com srishti is the residence of subhash he said he would like to get a kerala house design this building is designed according to vastu perimeter of the rooms are very very it should follow certain auspicious dimensions the dimensions are not in meters and centimeters the traditional kerala dimensions use a unit of measurement called kol one kol is approximately 72 cm its 24 angulams is one kol everything has to be a multiplication of angulams which is 3 cm this is a small plot the plant area of the house will be a little bit more than 5000 square feet and it's two floors and chennai many of the areas are getting flooded during the rains one reason is the climate change long spells of rain come in a short period you can see the house is quite raised from the external road level the ground level is raised the house is raised further the house this way is facing east the main door it's very wide you have it as windows on both sides and gives a slightly grand entrance we are given a front veranda through which you enter so when you enter the house what you see is a courtyard many of the kerala houses have a courtyard when you come for the main door you turn right and you get into the living room we are given a large folding doors here which is quite wide the furniture is a little bit of a colonial nature subhash hails from trishu this is the trishu puram the land of the elephants in malayalam we call it nettipattam the living room is completely kept separate because it gives more privacy to the families what happens in many of the houses in india you pass through the living room which affects the privacy of the rest of the family members opposite the main door is the puja door puja room door has solid timber doors with its opening apart from the living room which is being private the rest of the areas are very well connected that is a foyer family sitting area dining area courtyard everything is connected subhash wanted a curved staircase and when we had a curved staircase we have gone with that curved lift as well fire staircase is made out of concrete the shuttering was a bit difficult but not impossible the staircase goes into the first floor and there is a first floor sit out because the view is more towards the north all the three bedrooms in the first floor are in three different corners the advantage of the corner room light is coming from two sides people always like rooms where the light comes from two sides and each of these rooms we are given a timber ceiling also and each of the designs in each of the rooms is quite different this is a sun's bedroom and you come to this bedroom crossing the courtyard and the swimming pool this room is in the southeast corner this is a four poster bed made out of teak The master bedroom is in the southwest corner. They enter the toilet from the dressing area rather than from the bedroom directly. This is one of the children's bedrooms. This bedroom has a sit out looking out into the road. 
the bedrooms are made slightly spacious it has a swimming pool which is in the first floor the main challenges we had to face was the swimming pool roof which you see at the back we bought the glass separately we bought the tile separately it's a timber roof to provide a swimming pool in the first floor and to have a roof on top of it was not that easy waterproofing becomes a major concern many of the houses start leaking after a period of time what we do is to give a attic space the advantage of such a space is that the house as a whole becomes cooler because there is a roof so no waterproofing is done roof is a very important part of a building and when you look at many of the modern concrete buildings you don't see the roof at all but at one point of time creating the roof was the most important part of designing which contributes not only to the aesthetics the performance and durability of the building very little plywood is used in this house so everything is solid wood doors frames railing the roofs it's important for every building to be durable the durability is dependent on the design the quality of workmanship but unfortunately the masons at the end of the day are paid by the number of bricks he lays and not by the way he lays quality is not respected by the community as a whole so there is no incentive for them to do good quality workmanship and that is what affects the durability of the buildings the buildings will 50 years ago are more durable than what it is built now global warming and climate change is around the corner so it's important that every project which is done should be sustainable